Hey guys, I'm Shannon Morris with Signal by Sony and I'm at CES 2015. The booth is still being set up behind us, but I'm here over at Sony with Christina. Hi, Christina, how are you? Very well, how are you? <laughs> I'm excited. So you have a new 4K Handycam with you. Yes, this is the very smallest that we've ever introduced um, 4K in a traditional Handycam um, format. Um, yeah, so, so it's a really, really small form factor. Yeah. Um, we're introducing it for a really, really great price point of $9.99. It's that basically sucks. for everybody, right? It's for everybody. Okay. Um, there's a lot of great features um, in this. Of course, it's shooting 4K at 30p and 24p. Okay. It's shooting AVC HD video at awesome. um, you know 60p, 30p, 24p, of course. Um, but some of the cool things that I like about it is the lens. So check that out. It's floating in there. <laughs> and the so reason weird. why it looks like that is um, a few years ago we actually introduced a new technology called balanced optical image stabilization. The whole <laughs> optical block in the sensor is suspended in there. That's why yeah. it looks like it's floating. That's cool. Yeah, and then what that's going to allow you to do is take some really, really steady video. Yeah. So it really gets important when you talk about 4K. It's so great, right? It's, you know, four times HD resolution. But it also at that resolution, any shake is going to be really pronounced. Yeah. So I'm not going to need a tripod now for this. I can actually just hold it up and be completely steady the whole time. Exactly. So uh, why would I choose this 4K camera over the action cam? Because that's 4K too. It is 4K as well, um, but it's a totally different, I think, um, target for it. So we talk about the lens. This is built with um, a 29.8, so it's really wide um, field of view, uh, Vario Sonar T-Star lens, so it's a professional lens. Yeah. Um, it's got 10 times optical zoom, and when you're shooting 4K video, you can go up to 15 times zoom, and in ABC HD, you can go up to 20 times zoom. So you get really wow. close to the action, yeah. um, but again, that's when your steady shot's really going to play an important part uh, to stabilize the image, because everything's really pronounced the closer in you get to the video. And it looks like I can manually edit the focus too with this turn? Yes, so there's manual focus assist, uh, there's a manual button down here, you can change exposure, etc. So you can really get creative with your shots cool. um, and achieve the look that you're, you're going for. Well, let's mention the ports a little bit because I noticed there's quite a few on here. Yeah, there's a lot of different terminals. So this micro HDMI out, so you go directly to a 4K TV. On the other side here, you've got a mic in, you've got headphones oh, to check your sound. And then at the top, this is my favorite, the MI shoe. So it's a multi-interface oh, shoe. shoe. Yeah, so you're really going to up your production value, oh, if you yeah. will. That's going to be able to um, connect lights to it or yeah. um, a better microphone as yeah. well. Um, so it's really going to give you really amazing That's video. Cool. Now, one of the cool things that I like like about it is in post. So in playback, we can choose any frame we want and take a still picture from the movie. Really? And it's gonna be eight back. megapixel. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's the key, is the eight megapixel, right? You could do it before and it'd be two megapixel. It would be okay to kind of share on your phone, et cetera. But this is gonna give you the lasting, decisive moment um, in quality image. So other than doing it in playback, can I also take pictures while I'm actually recording a video? Yeah, so what we call that is dual record. So I'm recording the video. There's a photo button right here at the top. Oh. So um, I can just press that. It's not going to disturb the, the filming at all. Um, and at the same time, it's going to save a high-res JPEG to the same memory card That's cool. um, up to 20 megapixel. And it has a processor fast enough to do both of those at once. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Is it not amazing? Yeah, it's the Beyond X processor. So one okay. something that Sony manufactures as well. Yeah. So what's the codec in this guy? So it's XAVCS, which is a consumer grade. Um, for 4K, you're going to be wanting to use an SDXC card. Okay. So we talk about the different codecs and whatnot. It's going to be processing at such a high bit rate, 60 megabits per second. You want the fastest card out there. So it's SDXC class 10. Um, currently, you can get up to 64 gig, which is about almost two hours of each um, 4K video. I don't think everybody is going to shoot in 4K, right? Do I have the option to just do HD on this? Yes, so it okay. also has AVC HD um, codec capabilities. So that's going to be 1920, 1080p, 60p, 24p, 30p. And I wouldn't need the special SD card for that. Yep, just a regular one. Perfect. Now I noticed on the other side there's this LCD. Am I going to be able to see this in bright light outside? Is that going to be okay? It's a pretty high res LCD, but for those who prefer, there's also a built in EVF. Yeah. So you slap it out. Oh, it's totally cool. That totally works. That's awesome. And it's easy. Yes. Now what about this microphone on the top? How's that? 5.1 channel surround sound. It's pretty amazing audio, but like we talked about earlier, there's you know other audio ports for additional mics. How about wireless connectivity? Can I connect to this through, what, Wi-Fi? Yeah, anything? so it is wireless capable. Um, it's Wi-Fi and NFC built in. Um, what that's going to allow you to do is um, connect um, up to five of these guys with your mobile phone or even a live view remote. Um, so you can see what the camera is seeing. You can control it from a remote location. You can also um, live stream with it as well. Okay. 
And this is 4K for 1K, huh? Yeah, for 9.99. That's an excellent price. It's amazing. When's it gonna be available? In spring. Perfect. Christina, I think things got really loud in here all of a sudden, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this back to you. Thank you so much for sharing it with us. It was a pleasure to talk to you. Of course, if you guys wanna find more, youtube.com slash signal and sony.com slash CES and hashtag us, Sony CES. I'm Shannon Morris, I'll see you next time.